result of that heat of the white hole. I've been looking forward to this one all morning. The Diamond Challenge Skulls. And there's the Kingslayer, as we like to call him. Go! Oh, yes, the, uh, the, 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 the Goliath Slayer or the Kingslayer, yes, Mr. Brigham. Yes. Uh, no Mahe Drysdale today, though, but... So, Matt Brigham is the Sculler on the Buck Station to the right. And then you've got Cameron Buchanan on the Berkshire Station to the left-hand side. And this will be fascinating. They're similar generation rowers. They're similar standard. They've got quite similar CVs in many ways as well. So this is going to be really interesting. Oh, they're real rowing personalities, these guys. And look, it's still tight, isn't it? And these leads can shift much more quickly in the singles than the eights. You can, just in the blink of an eye, turn a race round, as Matt Brigham knows better than anyone. Oh, it's brutal. Single sculling, you know. It's, it's just, it's all on you, right? You know, and it's your psychology and, like, whether you can crack your opponent and... Um, you know, like um, um, Cameron is, is, is an amazing uh, guy. He sort of builds up a big profile online. He's got a lot of followers and he really documents how he's doing his racing, which he clearly feeds off. And he'll be sort of storing that in his head because he'll be wanting to tell people how he's done and, and, and talk people through his race. But at the moment, he's just that length or so down on, um, on um, uh, Brigham. And it's just gonna have, he's just going to have to hold his time to get back through him here. Yeah, so Matt Brigham, you can see to the right of the picture, Leeds University background and we mentioned the Kingslayer the reason we talk about that is he beat Mahi Drysdale in 2019 in one of the classic Henley Royal Regatta encounters it was just one of the most extraordinary bits of sporting drama amazing wasn't it real David and Goliath stuff yeah. yeah look at him sculling here he's doing really well that's that's really neat and tidy because the water is livening up here and it's a nightmare when you're in the single skull because you just get thrown around that little bit and it puts you off your rhythm but he looks really solid there and he's really punching it along nicely well he'll be trying to tee up a clash with oliver zeidler who's on the same side of the draw this time round, the german as matt brigham so you just wonder whether brigham against zeidler you could have lightning striking twice well, I'd love to see that. Yeah, he's got. He's also got um, the Canadian uh, Jones, hasn't he? Yes. So we'd have that in the earlier round, and then on to uh, Zeidler, the German. So he, he's got a couple of uh, titans to slay. But he's, uh, yeah, he's doing it. He's sculling well there. And uh, there we have um, uh, Cameron. Cameron, don't we? There wearing his Moncton top. Uh, he, he was racing for Strathclyde last year when he when he raced the Diamonds last year. Yeah, he's raced here in Leander colours as well. He won the Ladies Challenge Plate back in 2016 for Leander knows Henley well but they're doing well this is still close you know like you can you can we can wind up a big attack here and, and spring it on your opponent in the singles like this so it's just it's a it's a bit of a waiting game isn't it as to who's gonna sort of make the next move right so Matt Brigham will be pleased with his work so far may have uh, tougher encounters down the down the track waiting for him and uh, yeah Cameron Buchanan, really interesting character. You played uh, GB under-20 basketball. He's a Scot. And uh, he's into his photography. Started rowing back in 2011. And he's in contention here, isn't he? It's for a singles. This is a good tight race early oh. on in the week. He's always had uh, quite one-sided races early in the week in the diamond but this time round we've got a serious race on our hands as they head in front of the enclosures in the next minute or so yeah definitely there's you can't i mean you can never you can never discount anyone in singles like this particularly and you can see the water there's still quite a lot of life there from other boats moving around which will be upset which can easily upset anyone's rhythm and that can knock off a couple of meters here and there quite quickly and swing swing the um the lead round so there's Buchanan, he's up against Brigham in the Diamond Challenge Skulls here at Henry Royal Regatta. And it's Matt Brigham who leads at the moment. Helen Brown, his coach, will have uh, tried to fill his head with positive thoughts, Brigham there. Presumably just showing a replay of Mahi Drysdale race. That's it, job oh, that's done, isn't it? Pretty good confidence building stuff, that, yeah. isn't it? Motivational. But yeah, I mean, single sculling, you know, obviously you need to have the power and the technique, but you do need to have that confidence and personality because it is all on you and these high pressure moments, you know, it's, it's intimidating and you've, you've got to trust and believe in yourself a lot, you know, and there's, um, 
I think, you know, are we, are we seeing that from Cameron? It looks like he's drawing a bit closer here. It might be the angle of the shot, but definitely looks like it's really closing up. And there's a bit of a tight push for the, for the line here now. There definitely is, because Cameron Buchanan has dug deep and he's got back into the race, and Matt Brigham will be acutely aware of that. Look at this on the side. You can't get closer than that as they come in front of Stewart. We've only got 100 metres of the race left. It's Brigham against Buchanan in the Diamond Challenge Skulls on the Wednesday of Henry Raw Regatta. And Cameron Buchanan, the Scot, has dug really deep here. Can Matt Brigham hold it off? He's led most of the way. Is he going to lead at the finish line? Over they go, and the Scot takes it. Cameron Buchanan is the winner. And Matt Brigham, well, he has had to bow out at this early stage. We've talked about his glorious moments in the past here at Henley, but Brigham won't be having any repeats of that this year. Cameron Buchanan timed it to perfection. They absolutely nailed the execution of that race, and he gets over the line just in front. He pulled a sneaky one there, didn't he? He was just hiding, sneaking along behind him, and then he sprung it on him at the end. That was brilliant. What a... There we go. Look at that, a couple of feet in it. Amazing, and then he pumped the air afterwards, and obviously chuffed with that. That's remarkable in a, in a single skulls race to have it that tight so on the Wednesday as well. You're not talking about a final when you'd expect them to be closely matched on the no, Sunday. No, and he's, he, did you see that? He was even eyeballing him on the finish line as if to say, "Hey, you know, I've got you." That was brilliant. Oh, what a what a great race! Look forward to seeing them in the next round. Yeah, that was uh, a fiery race, just what we were after. I told you I was looking forward to that one.